Underway in the Ville. It'll be Darius Perry, the, the Cardinals trying to improve their point guard play. Into the post, spinning hook shot, first look. For Enoch goes. Well, they've shot it at a high percentage. I think the number that Chris Mack has more on knocks one down. The reason he was the league's most improved player, and you know, he's letting it come to him. McMahon is never shy with a trigger, and he knocks down a three. His bucket on the board. That is good, and that stems the tide. A little three ball for Justin Watley. Nice pass. Wara, too easy in the corner. We've got to make sure that the perimeter shots we're taking are good shots within our offense. That was an outstanding shot, a good pass there. Aiden Igeha. Corner triple for Dwayne Sutton. Everything you want, and he legitimately thinks that if Sutton has ever looked at a stat sheet, Chris has not seen it. He puts a couple more on the sheet with that up and under. He understands how to be around other good players, how to fit in. That's pretty strong for Miller. Finish. Understand how to practice hard and how to prepare. But he, he's got a really high, nice pass. Enoch flushes it home. I think that tells you a lot about the character of this team, that they are accountable to one another. That was a blown assignment and a two-hand slam for Claiborne. Not giving him the start, needing more from him, and I think he's responded nicely. There is Perry. Ooh. How did he finish that? Miller and Perkins into the corner there is the first triple to fall for Randy Miller Jr. Well, he could shoot, and he could change a game with his shot in an instant. I mean, you go back to that Miami game that opened the year. Virginia put it on him in the second half. There, there's so much put on those guards, Xavier Johnson, Trey McGowan's, and they're really talented. Nice. Good decision. Wow, step back for Enoch. Ali, after the practice, you know, why don't you play this kid, Enoch? there by Sutton. And he said, oh, he's not ready yet. And, you know, he's not quite there. And... When the calendar turns to December, it gets real. Man misses. Williamson cleans it up. Williamson. They didn't throw it to him on the wing. He went and made a play. He's gonna... Strong on the boards. Really nice look into the corner. Sutton for three. It's just good basketball. We'll get fresher as the broadcast goes on. Sutton can't get there in time to prevent C.J. Kaiser. Stemmed a 12-0 run for Louisville. Zenoch has looked really impressive at the post. I'm telling you, folks, used to that jump hook. In almost every mock draft you look at, is he'll come away with it here. He's projected in the first round. Pretty good dish to Sutton underneath. Couldn't get off the bench at UConn, though. I mean, you had it right, Stale, as Miller to the basket. We well, had a tease of a pretty mundane story, apparently. Lay off. You got a whole second half to make up for it as Darius Perry knocks one down at the top of the key. As we're up big. And you assume it's an opportunity also where he's going to be able to go into his bench and, and get some of these younger guys some more experience. Yeah. LaBelle Moten thinks he's a super important part of their success this season, particularly once they get into that MEAC schedule as Watley knocks down a triple. It's her itself. He really embraces the challenge there, makes him a great fit as Miller misses a triple. Good work on the offensive board for Blunt. $5,000 a year offer to go to Delaware State. He went and coached in middle school for $225 a month, and here he is. Raleigh, Durham, Chapel Hill area. The Magic figured out in their conference tournament as Perry from downtown. We're warming up with the team before the game, so those guys are both close. A left-handed three for Jordan Perkins. Yeah, it's a freak athlete, but he doesn't play basketball 
like one. And he meant that as a compliment that he really knows how to play the game, and so does Wara for the right hand. Afraid of being infested by ants. That sounds miserable. <laughs> oh, and North Carolina Central fearing something, the two-hand flush. That's far Perry, the best assist to turnover ratio in the ACC. It's early, but that is an encouraging sign for a kid who at times has been a little bit out of control. Bad for a guy who has hardly practiced for them. Two threes here in the second half. Nice. Kaiser, a little teardrop. Move. 15. You just want to get your number before the coach pulls you. That's how, that's how guys think. He knows it's coming. Williamson. But he can really score. He's trying to get to his number, though he'll stay in this game. You can figure with that bucket, Williamson, the upside that is there in the younger ranks. It's not just that service, and there is Igehan sending it back. Chris, that it can sometimes be hard to gauge just how good a team like Louisville can be against a, a, an opponent like North Carolina Central. As Kimball. Let's just say I like that better than the guy who immediately puts his hand up and walks meekly back toward the bench. That was me. You're probably a guy who loves the soccer dudes who <laughs> act like they've been shot. Not an easy place to sell. He sold my parents. I told him he recruited my parents just as hard as he recruited me. He with a right. That that league has seen. Well, it did not add up. He was at Loyola in between West Point and Wake, as Miller does find the range. You know, it, be at West Point, and boy, am I grateful every day for being from there. That's McMahon, a little victory. A little bit out of the flow of the offense here on both sides. Josh Nickelberry for three. At this point, something of a work in progress is get our first look at the bench. Into the post we go. Really on the road and tested. That is life in the MIAC in the preseason. Kimball has been. Take swag to no swag. <laughs> yeah. And a put back for C.J. Kaiser. Not lost a November home game in 28 years. That will not change tonight. Chris Spatola, it's been fun. Louisville did their job.